During my vacation in Batambal, I visited Nyang Batidu Coffee. On my last trip to Samri, I stopped by again Batidu Coffee Roaster, which located behind Batambal Cafe. There, I had a great time learning about their coffee beans from support and siphon. After that, just develop the body, the textures, and after that, we can go and then we can Okay. So, what is the best temperature for the hot water? It's around like 94 or 96. It's between the two good one for In today's video, I visited Factory Phnom Penh to check out the first cake and bake festival. After that, I stopped by Fabrook Coffee Roaster to get some freshly ground coffee and get to learn how Fabrook Coffee roasts their coffee bean. To begin, they sorted out the beans. According to Sopon, this was only necessary with coffee bean from Wadokiri. Afterward, he start and warm up the roaster, followed by weighing the amount of coffee bean he needed for that day. Here. After weighing, the beans are poured into a suction machine that loads the coffee beans to the top of the roaster. Which one is the bin temperature? This one, the one. This is bin temperature. This oh, the 203 is the bin temperature. Yeah, the, the 203 is the uh, degree. Okay. Uh, and the 157? Yeah, it's, it's the, the, the how the, the temperature operates and rise. Ah, okay. Once the temperature is optimal, the coffee beans are dropped into the roaster to begin the process. Every few minutes, he checked to ensure the coffee beans were roasted at the correct temperature and for the right duration. As he had mentioned during my visit to his coffee roaster in Samri, the roasting time varies depending on the coffee profile and taste. Some beans are roasted between 15 to 20 minutes. When the beans are ready, they are poured into a drum with a cool air suction below to cool down the freshly roasted coffee bean. The bean will rest for a few days before they are packed. You can purchase fresh roasted bean from Falcon Cafe at the front. If you prefer ground coffee like I do for the coffee drip, simply choose and prefer bag and request this to be ground at the counter. After leaving the roastery, I visited another field group coffee makers venture, Sign Cafe, as Sopon invited me to experience a new location which employed individuals with hearing and vocal impairment. It's a cozy corner that offers small bite. If you want to learn how to order using sign language, look for this standy by their counter. That is all for today's video. So, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my SMB channel. Happy eating and drinking!